Welcome to the Art Man LP Exhibition Episode 55. Today we'll be taking on a Cinnabar Gym Challenge. Now, Judo Boy is not that hard. Judo Boy is actually the easiest of the four, to believe, believe it or not. Just make sure you bring a Psychic Pokemon who knows either Psychic or Confusion, preferably Psychic. If anything, bring in your own Pokemon. It's your own Pokemon to make a field day out of these guys. The Reynolds suck. I'm only using Reynolds because my transfer pack is broken. And I'm saving that special team for the Elite Four. Anyway, all he's basically going to be using is Focus Energy on all of his Pokemon. So the next move that his Pokemon uses will automatically have a critical hit. That is something you don't want. Which is why I said bring a Psychic or else. Now, he may change up his line. He may still have some fighting types, but he'll end up adding two more normal types to try to throw you off and keep them from being completely wiped out by Psychic types. That's something you might want to catch whenever I play round two, like later in the year or next year, basically. To be perfectly honest with you, if I still continue the Arden LP exhibitions, no, I wouldn't say if. I'll be doing it for a pretty long time, but if when I do do round two, like. Either later on in the year or at the end of the year, I'll try to make it a yearly thing. There's a distinct difference in the number You need to make sure that remember what I said about there being a difference in lineup. The remaining Pokemon count is three. Because the differences in lineup, by the way, I want to bring up something. It wasn't round two. Brock that had the surfing right on, but rather the round two Bruno fight has the surfing round right on. Not that that matter because all you need is a grass type and you're good to go. But still, the fact of the matter remains. There it goes. Everyone from Brock's gym all the way to the rival will have. Brand new will actually have Pokemon added to their lineup. That's thought I'd let you know. But now we're coming on to one of the dynamic duo of Cinnabar Island Gym Challenge, which makes this challenge hard. The Psychic and the Nerd. These two are the most important. For now, the Psychic has nothing but Psychic Pokemon, most of which will learn Hypnosis. Others will learn Psychic. The Alakazam itself would learn um, the Seismic Toss the and Counter. To I don't know why, but it does. But if anything you need to watch out for, it's this freaking Hypno. So how do you solve that problem? Simple. Poison it. Because he's going, because the Hypno is going to put you to sleep. There are no special abilities to save you in Gen 1, in case you forgot. Or in case you didn't come in when I actually started this. So, yeah. Poison the Hypno. And hopefully, well, yeah, bring a Pokemon in those Pain Missile. Because that's probably the only Buck Top move that's going to hurt it. What's that? Ah, screw amnesia. How will this news affect the battle? Anyway. I didn't say it's amnesia. amnesia, I meant hypnosis, sorry. Anyway, there is one good thing about this. Only one of your Pokemon can be asleep per the rules. And only one of your Pokemon be frozen. What now? So, whenever your Pokemon falls asleep, trade it out. This is the only way to beat that annoying Hypno. Just thought I'd bring that up to you. 
will it do? Oh! Oh, it's not dead yet. Oh, and this is another reason why that hit was annoying. But yeah, this particular trainer has all psychic Pokemon except for one, which is Polyrath. However, that Polyrath knows hypnosis anyway. And I think it also knows Dream Eater. Which is weird. I didn't think Poly World can, I mean, Polyrath can learn Dream Eater. But it's the next but it's this battle and it's going to be it's gonna catch your attention because you want this trainer to have all water type Pokemon. So you can just use either Stormy, which can learn Thunder, or Jolteon, which can learn Thunder Bolt, to finish this trainer off. Ugh, the Alakazam. Why does it learn counter and seismic toss? I don't know. But there's something else you didn't know about this trainer in round two. If you thought they were annoying here, oh god, you ain't seen nothing yet. In round two, all of her Pokemon knows self-destruct and explosion. Keep this in mind. And that's why I call them the gruesome twosome or the dynamic duo of the Cinnabar Island Gym, because they switch roles! The next battle which I'm going to fight has Pokemon that uses self-destruct. But they switch roles, so this so she'll end up having a Pokemon knowing self-destruct. Well he has the psychic types. Really messed up, ain't it? Uh damn seismic toss. Bubble beam, bubble beam! Dropped him the one? Are you serious? Wow. Man, this gym no between this trainer and the nerd, I had so many losses. What Pokemon will be fighting next? Yeah, let's get nine tails. Oh, it's Ninetales! That should do it. The remaining Pokemon stock is two to one. Come back Let's dig. Spark fly. And hope to God I could beat it. What will it do? Good hit! Yeah, that Alakazam known it's seismic toss is annoying. Firework but thankfully it's only level 50. Now, had it been level 100, this would have been a problem. Alright. That's it. That is the end of one half of the gruesome twosome dynamic duo. Or ridiculously evil trainers. Okay. Now for probably the most annoying trainer in round one. He may seem easy, but trust me, he's not. And now it's time for the angry suicide bomber nerd. All of his Pokemon know self-destruct. Every last one of them. Well, an explosion. The gym leader is waiting right after this. So in short. His Pokemon are Chaozus. Yeah, oh, great. Here's the main reason why this Pokemon game, this trainer gave me problems: the Snorlax. You to think the Snorlax would have actually used Self Destruct, as I would have uh, uh, presumed, because all of his Pokemon used Self Destruct on me before. Well, obviously the Snorlax will not. What this? When he brings out the Snorlax, the Snorlax actually uses a different strategy other than self-destruct. Instead, it uses Skull Bash! Which in one hit dropped me down to 21 HP. God, Snorlaxes are tanks. It's 
Uh oh. I hope I can bring him down. Neither one is conceding an inch. Alright, dig, dig. What the weak Only got a even if I got a critical hit, it barely does any damage to him. That's a good hit! Yet, two hits! My Alakazam is down. Reynolds suck! What Pokemon will be fighting next? Alright, let's the get nine tails. Oh, it's nine tails! It has to make up for lost. Ground. Okay. The Pokemon now I'm gonna dig. Entirely different type. Because this will be the part after using three or two to three moves that Snorlax will try to catch me off guard with self-destruct. Like a dick. See? Chiaotzu! So it just Chiaotzu itself. So who's next? Oh, it's Muck! How will oh, right, Muck. Hmm, I forgot self-destruct is one of its move sets. Wow. At least it's gonna take a lot of damage. The one thing I hate about tanks when they use explosion or self-destruct. Wow. Things like that will happen. It will use most of his HP to There's try to take down the opponent. God, that move is annoying. At oh, least nine till survive two self destructions. And last but not least, Electrode. Who I might add uses Thunderbolt. And of course, adhering to the rules. If the last Pokemon self destructs, the person who issued the command will lose. In short, the computer's not going to force Electro to self-destruct. There's only one time that it actually did that against me. Seriously, I missed a gym with all the riddles. Solving the riddles were so easy, and I didn't have to worry about the trainers. So in short, Dig is your friend. And you're gonna have to worry about this with Trainer 2, because Trainer 2 will have Pokemon that will self-destruct. One hit kill, one hit kill! Aww! Dig! Dig! Sonic Boom! Only does 20 damage. Fireworks are flying in this battle. Yeah. Oh, a that is freak. just so sad. It didn't work. I barely even get him to oh, seven damage. And I had to use two hits to take it down. Oh, but oh well, it's, it's over with. I got I've got the electrode. And I've gotten past the terrible two sum. All that's left now is Blaine himself. And with Blaine, it's real simple. Pray to God he doesn't pull out the Clefable or the Kangaskhan. That's right. I said pray to God he doesn't bring out the Clefable or Kangaskhan. Because those are the only two fire types. Well, the only two Pokemon that aren't fire types. That's what I meant to say. This is why I have Dugtrio. This is why I have Stormy. And this is why I have Ninetales. The showdown against Blaine. The leader of Cinnabar Gym is a fire Pokemon technician. Treat him lightly and you'll get burned. Oh, uh, we'll see who gets burned. Bubble Beam! For the win! No! This Pokemon Boom Shakalaka! Oh, what oh god, no. Not Body Slam! Oh, thank god he didn't get paralyzed. Thank god my Starmie didn't get paralyzed. Just for that? Bubble Beam! Boom Shakalaka! Why didn't you do that the first time? All 
Alright, who's next? Fighting next! Please don't let it be a normal type. Please let it be a normal type. Yes! The most overrated Pokemon ever! Guess what happens to Charizard? Bubble Beam! Or Thunder, one of the two. Boom Shakalaka! What now? Oh Christ! Oh, that is not good. I hope Starmie can survive. If so, then Bubble Beam! Another critical oh, hit! Why did you do that the first time? Alright, who's next? Please. Oh, I think I know who's next. The Magmar! Yes, I've seen the show. Yes, I know how awesome Magmar was. Yes, I saw how badly Charizard kicked his ass. But anyway, enough about that. Bubble Beam! One hit kill! Oh! Oh no! No 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 no! Oh my god! I'm ah, so lucky! Okay! One more time for the win! Or else I'll have to resort to my second Pokemon. Well, Bubble Beam! And I beat the gym! Thank you, God! Now, with that said, I finally beat Blaine, the Cinnabar Island Gym Leader! You know who's left, folks. Out of the original eight of Gen 1, and that's Giovanni. We'll be taking on a Viridian City Gym Leader in episode 56. This is Arvyman985. See you guys next time.